30 year old woman can be raped. Rape is any is any form of sexual abuse that is done towards that is um, done uh, that is perpetrated towards an individual without the individual's consent using force or any other means of intimidation. And in conclusion, there's also the Domestic Violence Act of 2013. The Sexual Offenses and Domestic Violence Act were passed in 2013. And the Domestic Violence Act covers all domestic violence issues, such as wife battering, that is wife beating, because um, in the Gambia, like sometimes that is seen as normal. I'm going to do it again because he's not going to do it and he's not going to do it and he's not and all those things. That is violence. That is gender-based violence. And that is that is wrong, morally. And it's illegal mm -hmm. by virtue of the Domestic Violence Act. Mm -hmm. So um, I say Gambia has gone a long way in terms of trying to address gender-based violence. These are just the, the national legislations. There are international um, treaties that Gambia has signed. There are other um, international... Um, legislations that are in place that we are we are signatory to. So yeah, I mean, Hadi, these are some of the legislations that are in place, and uh, I think that if these legislations are implemented um, accordingly, gender-based violence would be an issue of the past. Okay. In the Gambia. So Maria, to, um, you are saying we have a lot of laws there in place. They're beautifully written. They have all these provisions against many of the the the, the violences and abuses perpetrated against women and children in the Gambia. But again, I believe it is left to members of the public because we cannot have these laws in place without having them test them in, in court to see how far they can go to set precedences and to deter other perpetrators from inflicting um, from, from inflicting rather these types of health violences against women against children again. Um, viewers, you've heard what she said. So Maria, to, um, just so we can wrap up because we're running out of time, um, I would like you to just mention an e the, this issue. We have, like I said, we have a lot of youth organizations. We have many groups, you know, people just get up and form, form organizations and say we're running an NGO and all of that. But mostly what I don't see is partnership. I don't see your youth organizations networking because at some point you would think it's a competition between like let's say maybe thinking women is working on women's rights in the Gambia somebody else might also create another organization on women's rights but uh, is thinking women engaging in networking activities to see how best we can you know forge ways in you know building the the, the, the spirit of let's say sisterhood because it's a, it's a women's rights organization so we wouldn't be having a, an issue of duplication of efforts what is thinking women doing? A lot of individuals have so I've seen the boots around Westfield and Banjul and Birkama. It was those beautifully made turquoise blue boots and um, like during the booth campaign we, we, we engage partners. We partnered with the Network Against Gender-Based Violence, mm -hmm. we partnered with the Female Lawyers Association Gambia, mm -hmm. we partnered with the National Youth Council, mm -hmm. we partnered with the Girls' Agenda, which is a sister organization. Mm -hmm. And um, just the list goes on, we partnered with Gamco Trap, which we see it as the mother organization. Mm -hmm. And um, we, 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 always in, we always partner with individuals, not because of just partnering but then let's take for example when we partnered with the female rights association during the booth campaign we we felt that the booth was it was um the booth campaign like we we, we the booth were not only um like uh, um constructed or placed in westfield so that we could um, administer some of the questionnaires that we were giving out. Actually, just to give a brief, the Booth campaign was a campaign against gender-based violence. And the whole point of the Booth campaign was to gather people's perception and knowledge about gender-based violence with a specific focus on FGM mm -hmm. and also to raise awareness on gender-based violence and engage the public and inform them about the implications the health in social mm -hmm. health of FGM. Mm -hmm. So um, during the booth campaign, we didn't see the booth just as a place to administer questionnaires or for just individuals to visit and raise awareness. We saw it as a safe space. Mm -hmm. We saw it as a legal legal aid clinic. Mm -hmm. So as a result, we engage flag, and then sometimes women come with their legal issues, mm -hmm. and then um, we will refer the case to flag. Mm -hmm. Or every Wednesday. Um, 
the coordinator of flag would come to the boat, spend at least two hours there, mm. so that if there was an individual with a legal problem or that needed legal advice, mm. we'd be able to advise that individual. And again, of course, because it was on gender-based violence and we have the network against gender-based violence, we engaged them as well. And they gave us advice on how to go about um, addressing issues of gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. And towards the end of the campaign, actually, one of the booths, um, one of the booths was given to the Network Against Gender-Based Violence to continue the whole um, campaign and awareness raising on gender-based violence. One of them was also given to the Girls' Agenda, a sister organization, mm -hmm. as I previously mentioned, that also work around the same, some of the issues that I think young women work around. Mm -hmm. And the other was given to the um, Banju Youth Committee. As mm -hmm. I said, we work with the National Youth Council. So they have their regional committees that we work around. I mean, just to cut it short, we partner. In the first National Youth Forum, we partnered with the majority of um, the youth organizations as well as um, Action Aid International, the Gambia, the UN agencies, and American Embassy. So we believe that partnership is very important, just to cut it short. It's quite important because um, we, be we think that collaborating makes us actually achieve what we are all fighting for. Mm -hmm. Because as you're saying, it's go if we do not collaborate, it's going to be a duplication of effort. Mm -hmm. But then if we all come together and then we come together and try to strategize on how to tackle the common issue, mm -hmm. then in the long run, we'll eventually um, achieve the goals that we are all Um, thank you very much, Maria. It was beautiful having you on the balance show with us. I believe the viewers have learned a lot with regards to the work that Think of Women does in the Gambia and violence against women and gender-based violence in the country and how we can forge ways and being partners, how we can tackle these issues so that at the end of the day, it's not just one organization leading the way, but it's all new organizations that are working towards these particular areas to come together and see how best we can strategize, form a synergy. At the end of the day, we would not have a situation of duplication of efforts. Viewers, I believe you enjoyed the show today. Till we come your way next week, it's bye-bye for Kadi The woman behind them. Take it again. Jarako, Nakalabi should be out. Okay. Hadi? Yeah. I am on you now. You're not on you. The camera's on me. Of course I'm on you. <laughs> mm, not your head. Yes, not, not. Hmm. We might duplicate, fabricate, wall fabricate day. Rolling? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm done. Rolling? Action. Hello, I